The following is a sponsored program paid for by Yaba TV. Welcome to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Yesia. So today we are coming to you from the beautiful city of champions, Inglewood. We are at Wilder's Preparatory Academy Charter School. We are coming to you today to bring the school to you to, so you can see what the school is doing in the community, how the school is really helping families to make a difference in the lives of their children educationally. We're going to speak to Ramona Wider, the Chief Executive Officer of the school. And we're going to also speak to some teachers and some students. So we are all in for a very special treat today. Tell everybody you know about our beautiful show. We'll be back after these messages. Wilder's Preparatory Academy is an award-winning, tuition-free public charter school in Inglewood, California that serves students of color from transitional kindergarten through eighth grade. Wilder's Prep is committed to providing students with a rigorous academic education that prepares them for success in high school, college, and beyond. Wilder's Prep is a National Blue Ribbon School, a California Distinguished School, a California Pivotal Practices Awardee, and was recently acknowledged by EdSource, California's preeminent education news organization, as the top performing school among predominantly black schools in the state. Wilder's Prep is building a stellar learning community while delivering an unsurpassed educational experience for their students, parents, and families. Wilder's Prep is currently hiring qualified teachers, support staff, and office personnel. With two locations to serve you, their main campus is at 830 North La Brea Avenue, Inglewood, California. Call today at 310-671-5578 or visit WPACS.com. Welcome back to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Yasir. So today is a one-on-one -on -one special with Miss Ramona Wilder. We are doing a very special profile on the school, Wilder's Preparatory Academy Charter School. This is a school that is doing a great job in the Inglewood area, and you get to find out after you watch today's show. So at this time, I'd like to welcome my guest on the show, Miss Ramona. Welcome. My name is Ramona Wilder. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Wilder's Preparatory Academy Charter School here in Inglewood, California. Okay. So, um, would like to know, it's a great school. I've experienced the students, um, their intelligence is remarkable. But who is the founder of this school? This school was founded by my late father, Mr. Raymond D. Wilder, and co-founder, my mother, Dr. Carolyn Wilder. Mm -hmm. So at this point, what message do you have to tell our audience about this beautiful work you're doing here at uh, the school? Back in the 1800s, my family started the first original schoolhouse in New London, Arkansas. They had a church there that they educated freed slaves to read and write before it was a civil right. So it's a passion for our family to make sure that students of color, specifically African American students, have a quality education in order to be successful in life. All right, that's wonderful. Tell us some of, some of the programs in the school and the school's philosophy. The school's philosophy is that every child can learn. We believe that children truly are the future. We believe that children can be successful if they are taught well and if they believe in themselves. One of our mottos here is that failure is not an option. So every child that attends here is going to learn, regardless of where they come from and what they know. So you as the chief executive officer of the school, what is the main role that you play here? Well, as the Chief Executive Officer, I have the oversight of following the Founder's mission and vision for keeping this to be a top-ranked quality 
charter school. Mm -hmm. I deal with the compliance and making sure that we have a quality staff that loves and cares for children mm -hmm. and wants nothing but the best for them. Uh, overseeing and governance of all of the compliance and by the state, um, state and federal, mm -hmm. is what I'm responsible for to make sure that the school remains the top ranked school in the state specifically for African-American students and that we have quality teachers that care and love and want to teach our children. Mm -hmm. I like that. So um, for someone that is interested to join you currently, are you hiring? Absolutely. We are always hiring and seeking individuals that have a passion for learning. We are hiring for teachers. We're hiring for all staff, all support staff, teachers, intervention teachers, campus supervisors, instructional aides. We're hiring for office staff and we're also hiring for there are opportunities for administration as well. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your gym. I know you have a gym, a beautiful gym. I've seen it. Yes, we do. Our gym uh, was 20 years old and we just recently remodeled it. We have a beautiful new floor. It's been renovated. We have championship sports teams. We have basketball for girls and boys. We have track. We have volleyball. It's not all about education. There are extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. We have a science lab where our students learn to actually have science projects. Mm -hmm. um, lots of opportunities for extracurricular activities here. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What is your final message to our viewers? Final message is that Wilders Preparatory Academy Charter School is a school that cares about our students. We believe in excellence. We are rooted in making sure that our children learn, that they excel, they graduate, they're prepared to go to college, and they are prepared to contribute and be positive role models in the world. Lillian, what's your experience here at the school? At the school, everybody is so nice. They help us with a good education, and the education that they provide with us is very different compared to other schools. This school helps us with everything and with everything and all our struggles. Like, for example, if somebody is struggling in math or ELA, mm -hmm. they will help in um, intervention classes, which help them excel in their academic skills so they can understand. And in, as my experience of here being since kindergarten, mm -hmm. and currently now I'm in seventh grade. And it has been a wonderful stay, and everybody is so nice. Teachers, they, teachers, they break down all the problems before they teach us, mm -hmm. and they make us understand. So that way, when state tests or SBAC tests or all these difficult problems come to us in the future, we all understand and we all know how to do it. They prepare us for college to get a better knowledge. That was my next question. Are you ready for college? Yes, I'm very ready for college. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. So David, what do you have to tell us about this school? Um, I just want to let you guys know that Waldis has like a very strong sense of community. Here at Waldis, like, I've been here since I was a, like a very little kid. Mm -hmm. I've been here since preschool and Waldis just has such a strong sense of community mm -hmm. and I've been able to fit in so well with other people here and just feel included because of having people around me who care about care about their education as much as me is very important and it's helped me build so many good relationships with other people. I like that strong sense of community. Yeah. And I just I've made so many friends here at Wild Days. It's just like it feels great to have such a a good amount of people around you who who care about as much as their education and yeah. Thank you for your time. Wilder's Preparatory Academy is an award-winning, tuition-free, public charter school in Inglewood, California that serves students of color from transitional kindergarten through eighth grade. 
Wilders Prep is committed to providing students with a rigorous academic education that prepares them for success in high school, college, and beyond. Wilders Prep is a national blue ribbon school, a California Distinguished School, a California Pivotal Practices awardee, and was recently acknowledged by EdSource, California's preeminent education news organization, as the top performing school among predominantly black schools in the state. Wilders Prep is building a stellar learning community while delivering an unsurpassed educational experience for their students, parents, and families. Wilders Prep is currently hiring qualified teachers, support staff, and office personnel. With two locations to serve you, their main campus is at 830 North La Brea Avenue, Inglewood, California. Call today at 310-671-5578 or visit WPACS.com. Welcome back to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. At this time, I'm in the lab with Miss Savage and would like to find out what she's doing here at the lab. Can you tell us what you're teaching the children? Absolutely. So this is my new seventh grade class. This mm -hmm. is the first time they've been into the physical lab. We have been studying um, safety in the lab first, and then now this is their first time interacting and actually doing an investigation. So our focus today is learning how to use the equipment, to recognize the equipment, and to be able to measure accurately. Things like temperature, milliliters of liquid. Thank you, baby. That's what I'm looking for. Give it up. Mr. Stringer is a fifth grade teacher here at the school and he seems to be having so much fun while he's teaching and I can't wait to talk to him. It's a pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself with that excitement that you have. Sure. So my name is Darion Stringer. I grew up here in Inglewood, California. Um, I have a degree in electrical engineering mm -hmm. uh, from Tuskegee University, shout out to you. Uh, I also went to Syracuse University to get my master's in mathematics education, which led me here in the education field. Mm -hmm. What do you like most about teaching? I know you probably have other hobbies, but it seems like <laughs> the little time I've spent it, you like teaching. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you for that question. I really love to teach. I think this is my passion. This is where God have me. Mm -hmm. um, through that, he blesses me with the amount of skills, mm -hmm. which you guys can see today. Um, I really love this urban community. I love to be here with the children of uh, black and brown. Um, that's a really passion for me as well. Um, and yeah. So what do you do if a student is not up to the level where they should be? Absolutely. How do you bring them up? That's a good question. So I try to make everything that we do uh, fun, engaging. We make songs. Uh, we do technology. I just try to do uh, introduce it in multi sets, multi facets, if you will. So if you know paper and pencil doesn't work, we're going to make a song. If the song is not going to work, we're going to use technology. If technology isn't going to work, we're going to pray. You find okay? a way. <laughs> we're going to find a way. Yeah. So even through the highest achieving student to the lowest, my job is to get that higher achiever to even go higher and get that lower to be where he needs to be or she needs to be before they leave me in fifth grade. And you know, Inglewood is a city of champions. Yes, yes. And you guys have really demonstrated that you guys are champions. The students oh, are yeah. champions. Oh, yeah. They are studying for excellence. Beautiful, yeah. Let's talk about that. Sure. So every morning, I'm glad you asked that. Every morning, the school uh, has a uh, tradition, if you will. We have this creed that we say every morning. It's called the Champions Creed. And this creed is to remind each of these students and myself that we are champions. And each day that we come in here, we need to act like that. What does it look like to be a champion? What does it sound like to be a champion, right? So I try to teach my students that, uh, you know, through all obstacles in life that they are capable. They have everything that they need already, regardless of what I can teach them. They have everything. God already blessed them with that grace. And he just uses us to get the, the best out of people. You know what I like best about what you said? Through all the obstacles of life, they can make it. They are champions. Yes, ma'am. Even on the first week of school, we all played a, a, a quick game. I held up the trash can in the front of the classroom. Mm -hmm. I asked each student to ball up a piece of paper. So I try to explain this, that life, 
gives people different obstacles. Mm -hmm. The people in the back had a harder advantage to throw that shot in the front of the classroom, mm -hmm. where this front row had a better advantage to throw that shot in the bucket. <clears throat> Life is the same way. Some of you might have, you know, two parent household. Some of you may not even deal with this type of issue. Some of you, you know, so everybody is different. And I just want them to know that regardless of where you at in life, you all can still achieve. Come back up, get that bat, get that, uh, that shot you missed, go back, shoot again. Mm -hmm. You miss again, go back again. I tell them all the time, I dare you to use your eraser. Students get so upset to make a mistake, why? Use the eraser, I, I encourage them, I challenge them. I say this every day, use that eraser. And I think, you know, through those mistakes in life, that's the best way of learning. And just giving them reassurance. Reassurance. Give them the push in life. Perseverance. Just you know, great. The drill. And uh, really, all I do is just motivate through different assets. Just motivate them and keep them encouraged from week one all the way through. Miss Clement is a third grade teacher right here at the school. And it's a pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you. I'm so pleased to be on your show. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you do here at the third grade. <laughs> I do many things here at the school. I'm not only the third grade lead teacher, but I'm also one of the curriculum coordinators. So I'm also responsible for training teachers as well. Mm -hmm. But for third grade, um, we are currently working on math. And so we learn various things. We're the, the third graders write uh, three paragraph essays, three to five paragraph essays mm -hmm. by the end of third grade. They're learning main idea and detail, so they're learning to cite text evidence. Mm -hmm. They know how to dive into the story and quote exactly what um, the author is trying to convey. Oh, wow. Main idea and detail, nice. sequence. Uh, third grade. Third grade, but also mm -hmm. math. They're going to learn their multiplication mm -hmm. tables. They're going to learn area and perimeter, mm -hmm. square footage. They're going to learn fractions and not just... Um, this is a half, but they're going to learn how to do the reciprocal. They're going to learn how to find the unit fraction. Mm -hmm. So many things. Right now we're on communities and social studies. So at this time, I'm speaking with Jonathan. And Jonathan has so much beautiful stuff to say about the school, correct? Correct. What do you have to say? Well, I love my teachers. I love the school. The school is beautiful, and it's pretty. I just love it. And I love the grades, and and I just um, love the teachers, and um, I love the and I love the outside monitors. I just love everything in this school. Do you feel like you're learning? Yes. You're sure? I'm sure. Okay. Are you getting ready for college someday? Yes, because, um, yes, because I just want to go to college because that promotes so much money and if I get so much money, I can just get a job. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, okay? Thank you for your time. You're welcome. What grade are you? Uh, currently going to, I mean, in the fifth grade. What do you like most about being in the fifth grade, and what's different from fifth and fourth? Uh, what I like most is the teacher, how they provide excellent education and make sure that we're ready for the next level. And I also like, like, fourth grade, it was different. We actually had, like, it was, like, different work. And then fifth grade, we actually had higher levels and status. And our education was different there. In fourth grade, our, we just worked on multiplication, division, simple stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But fifth grade actually got us ready for seventh and sixth grade and stuff like that. And eighth grade and got us ready for higher levels. And that's the goal, higher levels all the time. You know that, right? Yes. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Those that are interested in career opportunities at Wilders or for parents that are interested in enrolling their students, we have a website, and that is www.wpacs.org 
for Wilder's Preparatory Academy Charter School. Mm -hmm. We're located at 830 North La Brea Avenue in Inglewood, California. And our main office number is area code 310-671-5578. All right, thank you so much for your time on my show. And I wish you continuous success. The school is excelling, really. I can see that, I feel it. So I wish you continuous success in everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you. You're welcome. People have often told me, just when they're having good time with Yaba TV, time is up. Time is up again. But we are on every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on KK Los Angeles. If you like our show, contact us. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, and you have what it takes to be a guest on this show, contact us. The students are very intelligent here at this school. I mean, I must tell you, I was very impressed. And I'm, I'm sure some of you that took the time to watch the show from beginning to end, you feel the same way. But contact us. Our phone number is 562-833-8294. Follow us on Instagram, Yaba TV. Follow us on YouTube, Yaba Media. While you're there, like, share, and subscribe. That put a big smile on my face. Till then, we'll see you next week at the same time on the Yaba TV show, your contemporary bridge to the motherland, Africa. The proceeding was a sponsored program paid for by Yaba TV.